Seth here at USL. Should you encounter errors with your CMS, the very first thing you should do is check to make sure it's connected properly. If audio playback is not occurring, make sure that your AES audio cable is connected from the AES 1 through 8 and 9 through 16, if you're doing 16 channel, connectors on the front of the CMS and routed through to your audio processor. Make sure that everything is turned on, and the projector is powered, and there are two green active lights on the front of the CMS on the lower IMB portion. Additionally, when a hard drive is attached, it should light up and have status indicators for any hard drive activity happen on any external hard drive. The internal hard drives flash a small light at the front of the top of the CMS panel when they are active. However, your hard drives will not be active except for in playback or in ingesting unless there is a rebuild process happening on your RAID array. In the event that you encounter an error during using your CMS or during playback, we have several tools in place to help you analyze and figure out what happened. Additionally, you can compile a log package and provide information to USL and we can analyze what happened. And the show manager software will come up with our current playback in a stopped state. The first thing that you'll see if there's an error you encounter is where it says stopped on this screen will show the current playback status, whether that be error or playing or any other condition that the player normally gets into. If that shows an error, you can analyze it by first checking the drop down box at the top of the show manager software. Click on the green light or the text next to it and it will bring up the alert message dialog which lists the time and any alert events that happen. They have three symbols rating them from green, yellow, and red severities and they will list details about the issue that occurs on the right hand side. You can clear the listed messages with the X button and you can close the window by pressing OK. This window does take over the software so you do have to close it before you can continue. Next under the system tab if you log in with a user who has rights and privileges to access it you can come to the system tab and view the system status. This page lists the statistics on the current playback. So you can see our server has run 213,000 frames. They were requested and delivered with zero errors of any type. Different types of errors will spawn different, <coughs> different statistics on this page. And this will give you feedback onto the status of the IMB and the player. Under current RAID status, you will also be able to find information on the hard drives in the RAID array. The information listed here can help you decide on different actions to take to help the hard drives in your RAID. Finally, using a web browser, we can go to the CGI interface by going to the IP address of your CMS on your network. Specify with a colon the port number 43758 slash CGI dash BIN slash PY CGI dot PY. The interface brought up gives you several other tools for accessing and bringing up information about your CMS. The Git Playback status provides the basic playback information that comes on the player screen in the SMS software. And we can generate a log package file. There are two options, USB and download. If you specify USB, the CMS software will attempt to compile a log package and put it onto any attached USB drive. Since I currently do not have a USB drive attached, I get a small error message back. The second option, the download, allows us to compile and receive the package directly into our web browser. 
Be patient as this process can take up to five minutes or more depending on how much data there is on your CMS and how often it has been used. After waiting several minutes, the log package shows up and we can save it to our computer. That will give specific information on how the IMB and CMS are currently working as well as a configuration file backup. Additionally on this page you can select Reboot CMS. This requires a username and password, the same as is used to log into the SMS software. Accessing this will cause the CMS to reboot itself. This can also be accomplished by repowering the projector, but this system specifically reboots the USL CMS without requiring the cooldown time to protect the bulb in a cinema projector. These three tools should give you feedback on analyzing any errors that you encounter. Finally, if you come to the USL CGI interface and the page will not load, you've encountered a problem with the CMS uh, that is preventing any network communication, and it may be because of a power down, uh, network improper routing, or some other issue disconnecting your location from the CMS. Should this happen, check your physical install and your wiring and network status. Use these analysis tools to help identify and resolve any issues you encounter while using the CMS 2200.